Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, July 8th. Everybody kind of back in the saddle today after a really wet 4th of July period for Alabama in the Deep South. Let's check out some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m., there's a look at the lights of the city of Gadsden. Some spots reporting dense fog, we should point out, early this morning. That's our Fultondale Sky Cam, uh, just north of downtown Birmingham. And by golly, it's raining there at 5 o'clock. And that's our uh, Sky Cam at the battleship USS Alabama. And uh, that is one of those big Carnival cruise ships that has come up into Mobile Bay. Uh, they were uh, scheduled to uh, go into New Orleans, but a tugboat apparently sunk on the Mississippi River, and they couldn't uh, enter because of that, so they are in Alabama this morning. All right, there's the big picture. Very moist air stays in place, but the dynamic support has weakened for rain. That big upper trough and the blocking pattern is uh, broken down, so while every day there's going to be a chance of rain this week, the rain should not be as widespread or as extensive as late last week. Uh, Speaking of that, uh, this is a look at the rain for the last seven days uh, across Alabama. And uh, this is showing the the big numbers, obviously, down around Panama City and Destin, where they had over a foot. And in Alabama, the heavier amounts were east and west of Birmingham. Birmingham was in a relative minimum there. You can see parts of the Tennessee Valley had uh, big rains up there of over five inches. Check the radar early this morning, and uh, this was at 5.07 and uh, raining in downtown Birmingham. In fact, much of the Birmingham metro getting wet. Uh, but it's going to be more scattered this week. You can see how it is this morning. And again, every day we'll have rain around, but the storms and showers will be more scattered in nature, which is more typical of summer. Uh, We do not have a flash flood watch here. There is one for northern Georgia this morning. And uh, those counties in green up north, those are uh, some uh, river flood warnings. And of course, in this pattern, the organized severe weather stays way up north. Uh, Slight risk today up north. Same thing tomorrow. And on Wednesday, a slight risk from near uh, uh, St. Louis up into parts of New England and also in the western high plains. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, and this is showing rain amounts of about one inch. But remember, uh, with these summer storms, because of their scattered nature, you know, not everybody's going to see that much, but a lot of people are going to get more than that. It's the uh, hit and miss type stuff. Ooh, and the tropics are heating up. Tropical storm Chantal in the Atlantic. It's a low-latitude storm, and uh, that'll be interesting to watch. I don't think it'll be a gulf problem. Uh, the uh, This thing was upgraded last night on the 10 o'clock NHC package. Uh, sustained winds are 40 miles per hour. Uh, dry air is around that. That's one of the issues. It's kind of fighting. Here's a look at the uh, model guidance, the spaghetti plot on Chantal, most of them want to turn it north before reaching the Gulf, and I think that's the right idea. Uh, Here's a look at the uh, INSEP ensembles, pretty much the same deal. Intensity guidance. Uh, Most models uh, strengthen it slowly and then weaken this thing as it begins to interact with the islands. Uh, This thing might pass right over Hispaniola, and again, dry air is around it. It just doesn't seem to be a system that's going to be a hurricane. Uh, Although a couple of models do bring it up, but those are outliers. Analogs. Top 10 analogs. Uh, Emily shows up. That uh, came into uh, Mexico, south of Brownsville, Texas. Uh, Some of the analogs uh, went to Central America. You had uh, Lily in 2002. That's really the only one that affected the Gulf. But the odds are I don't think this is a Gulf system. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. They keep it a tropical storm, crosses Hispaniola, begins to turn north as a depression. They've got it as a depression late Friday night, early Saturday morning in the Bahamas east of Miami. And as you look at the upper pattern coming off modeling here in a minute, you'll see why there's a northward turn. And if guidance is indeed correct, the models are correct on the upper air pattern. This is the correct solution. Uh, This is the GFS. This is the OZ run valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. Higher heights west of Alabama. The upper trough is beginning to lift out, and down below that, we've still got a moist air mass. Here's the high-res NAM ballot at 6 o'clock this evening, showing pockets of showers and storms. But you can see 
instead of the big widespread rain like we had, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, it's more scattered. And a temperature in the sun, I think, will break out at times today with temperatures up in the mid-80s. Now, this is tomorrow. Uh, the NAM and, quite frankly, the GFS are both looking fairly dry. Uh, could there be a shower? Yes, but they look to be pretty widely spaced. Uh, more sun and temperatures in the upper 80s. Maybe somebody touching 90. You know, the last time we saw 90 was on June the 29th. We've gone eight days in a row, and today should make, uh, make day nine. But again, tomorrow could be relatively dry. Wednesday, looks like the showers and storms start to increase again, but they still will be scattered. Temperatures may be peaking around 90. So tomorrow and Wednesday, more of a typical summer-like pattern. Now, this is Thursday. Got the big upper high that's over the Texas panhandle, and you got troughing on uh, to, to the east and west of that. And down below that, a surface front tries to come in here from the north. And if by chance that is correct, we could see an increase in the number of showers and storms. You can see a nice uh, cool high sitting over the Great Lakes. And this is Friday, and drier air tries to work in here. And if this is right, and that's a big if, then Friday would be dry for the northern third of the state with lower humidity values. And uh, we all know that dry intrusions just don't happen a lot here in July, but it's going to try. Let's look at the weekend. This is Saturday, and look at here now. All of a sudden, we have this deep upper low that forms around Dothan. And uh, again, this is a pretty anomalous pattern. Uh, you've got the, the upper high that's north of Amarillo, an upper low near Dothan, and down below that, drier air over about the western half of the state. And uh, this is kind of tricky. If indeed there's an upper load down there, I'm not so sure it will be dry on Saturday. Now, we've seen some runs that tried to really bring down some drier air. In fact, some of the runs this weekend brought us down maybe into the upper 50s on Saturday morning near record lows. <clears throat> but if this upper low in, it forms like that, that'll kind of take that idea off the board. In fact, this uh, run of the GFS is printing a low of 75 on Saturday. Uh, so the, the, the weekend forecast, I would say, has great uncertainty involved. And I'm not really willing to buy that drier air for West Alabama at the moment. We'll watch trends. Uh, this is Sunday. The moisture comes back. And that doesn't mean it's going to rain all day Sunday, but there'll be showers around. And here's a week from today. The upper low uh, kind of retrogrades somewhat. It's like over the you know, Rio Grande of Texas. The upper high is north of that. And down below that, that'd be kind of typical summer weather, partly sunny with a few scattered storms. We'll check the end of the forecast just to see what's happening out there for fun. July 23rd, a 594 heat bubble is centered uh, right around the middle Atlantic coast. We're kind of on the southern flank of that. And again, that would be pretty typical with some risk of scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. <laughs> <laughs>